Hi y'all, I'm Catherine and I love getting on here and talking about my love for Saint makeup. I am a true Saint makeup enthusiast. I've been with the artist program for going on two and a half years now. So I've used the makeup a little longer than that. So anyway, we are gonna just do my makeup no frills. My skin is prepped and ready to go. I am going in with my contour and the detail brush. Start at the top of my ear and I just slightly go at a diagonal. You'll see it's not very dark and that's okay. I go kind of towards the corner of my mouth, top of my ear, down. Now with my cheek contour, I do let it sit because I feel like if I blend it as I go, this this part of my contour that I it will end up being over blended and I won't have the definition I want this I'm gonna go right back into my hairline but I stay away from my temples because my temples are already receding and I don't want them to recede more and that's what contour does is it brings back lightness will bring forward Okay, um, let's see, go down my nose. Uh, I kind of feel stressed out for some reason. <laughs> anyway, did I say my name was Catherine? My name's Catherine. All right, I'm just gonna do two simple, closer your lines are together on the bridge of your nose, the narrower your nose will look. I gotta be honest, I feel like every time I take a picture after my makeup's done, personally for me, I make my nose look bigger than it was before. So I'm still mastering that. So I would not take nose contouring and contouring advice from me. <laughs> okay, so I did just put a little bit of contour under my bottom lip. It just kind of helps with like a little pout. Okay, like I said, we're gonna let that sit. I went ahead and brought it down my neck just because I tend to forget. And that was the detail brush. Next, I'm gonna go, is this what I want to do? Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Yep. We're going to go with this end of the uh, blush bronzer brush and I'm going to go into my main shade. Also, real quick, let me mention when getting into your contour, our contours are a little stiffer. That's normal. If that's how yours is, there's nothing wrong with it. It's That's just how it is. It's the formula. So next, I'm going to go in with my main highlight. You'll see I'm not scooping it out. I'm just tapping into it and then I'm gonna tap into my face. Y'all, I tried recently to record a video um, of me doing the dot method or the cheetah hack method and I am just not a fan of it, y'all. I will have to do something similar sometime, but I couldn't, I, I couldn't go along with it. It, I just didn't like how my makeup looked. And I think for anybody maybe 38 and older, <laughs> maybe the dot cheetah hack method might not be the way for us. I'm just gonna say it. Um, but it, I mean, it does work for somebody. So I can't just knock it, you know? But it doesn't work for me, so I didn't feel like I could rightfully make a video and post it. I'll have to figure out how to how to do that. Maybe I can have my young niece come to my house and I can do the cheetah act on her skin. <laughs> okay, so I even put my, I put my main shade just about everywhere, okay? Um, because now I'm going in with my brightener and I'm just gonna use it as just like a little oomph. I'm not gonna really use it for coverage. It's just for an added like pop. So I'm gonna put it inner corner. Um, I don't even think I'm going to use it down my nose. I know I need more coverage on my nose though. So we'll deal with that in a second. Maybe I'll put some under my brow, but that's all I'm going to do for now. I didn't put any brightener down my nose and it looks just the way the light's hitting it. It just looks like there is. It's because I have a big nose. It's okay. All right, I'm gonna go in with my fingers and blend this in. You know, under the brow, this will kind of make your brow look a little more lifted. You'll notice I went all the way up to my eye with my main highlight because I feel like I just, I get better coverage. So at this point though, I'll just kind of 
evaluate the situation. You know how I said I needed more on my nose, so I'm using my main shade. If I need more coverage, I use my main shade, which is my darker shade, which if you are not familiar with Saint, man, thanks for being here. But I guess I just assume that if you're familiar with Saint, then that's why you've landed on this video. But if you get color matched, you are color matched to a contour, a main shade, and a brightening shade specifically and customized to you. So those are the three shades that I have on my face right now. I'm gonna go in with my Bella Bronzer next. I love Bella Bronzer. I'm trying to decide which end of the brush I'm gonna use it with. I'm gonna go in with the same one I was using to apply the foundation and I'm going to assist in the blending of my contour with the Bella Bronzer. And we are gonna do it on both sides. The bronzer is sheer, the contour has coverage. And I'm flicking up, up. You don't wanna bring your face down. Just naturally while we're blending and putting on our makeup, it might go down a little farther, but we can fix that at the end. And then I will also go in and put some on my forehead here. And also just, I wanna make sure that I got my contour on my neck or on my jaw blended out and that my neck matches my face, which matches my chest and shoulders. You know, I don't want a floating head. I had a floating head in seventh grade. And I know my cheeks don't totally look all blended in yet, but it's okay. We gotta do blush and that will also assist in the blending. I'm gonna go in first with this color here um, called Saint Tropez. So this color is a new love of mine. <laughs> it just helps on my skin tone. I don't know what it is. It just helps provide the, the blushes don't have coverage, but it's got some sort of color correcting. I think because of the orange in it, it helps cover up the uh, hyperpigmentation I have on my cheek area. And I start at the back and I make my, make my way forward, but I like a brighter blush, so I don't just leave this. I'm gonna go in with a slightly darker brush, blush. So this blush, the Saint Tropez, I consider my base blush. That's what I call it. I put it down first and it helps just with added color correction, which you know, we're experiencing. I'm gonna take Madrid, that's this one, and go over it. And we are gonna just start at the back and then I don't have to go up quite um, as forward because I have that Saint Tropez there. And I know some people will do the dots like this and then blend it out. I just feel like that's an added step. I like to just pick it up on my brush and go. And then I will flip this over and just make sure this is nice and blended in. Damp and sponge. This is the step that you don't want to forego and just press it all in. But while it's pressing it in, don't ask me how, but it's also gonna remove the excess product, which I'm very thankful for. If you are newer to Saint and you feel like you're using too much, it's okay, a lot of us do. I did when I first started wearing it. Um, if your face feels tacky, you're using too much, but stay in touch with your Saint artist. That's what we are for. If you have any issues, we want to help you. And if there's a color issue, we want to help you fix that because we want you to love the makeup as much as we do. When I say I will talk about this with anyone that will listen, I mean anyone. I don't care if you have a Saint artist, I still wanna help you too. For any reason, if you want help, just ask in the comments. I would love to help. There's probably another Saint user that would help answer questions in the comments too. So, so. before I start setting my makeup, I do want to evaluate the situation and I like to add coverage where I need it. Like right here, oh y'all, I'm a picker. I picked my face and made this little tiny little zit 
a full blown gross spot on my face. So I'm just gonna use, if you have a smaller brush, oh, oh, like the detail brush, the small end, this would work great for this. I only pinpoint where I need it. Just right there. And then, you know, I'm like, I'm looking at my forehead and I wanna add some extra bronzer. I'll just add a little, just to add a little more warmth and dimension. If you feel like you went too low with your contour, I just take a mix of my main highlight and brightening highlight. And I just whoop, do, 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 do. So just know that's always an option. If you feel like you over blended your contour, do the little cleanup trick the magic eraser. It's very satisfying to do too. This side, I'm not really, I had more, I needed more coverage over here. So I'm good over here. Setting, setting spray. Saint has a great one. If you have drier skin, it's lovely. If you have more oily skin, you might want to find one like Urban Decay, Charlotte Tilbury. There's a lot of great ones. This one is the Elf Stay All Night. I really like this one, mostly because watch the sprayer. I'm, it's about gone. Whenever you have a little like ball like that, it means you need to shake it, by the way. You probably already know that, but. Okay, so while that begins to dry. I would normally put on my mascara, but my mascara is already on. So you know what? Let's put some bronzer on my lids real quick. And then we will get my powder out. So the vanilla dust setting powder is great, um, but I, I need to order more, which is quite unfortunate. I really like it. Again, I have normal, mostly dry skin actually, and it's great for me because it's not too heavy duty and I don't like to look powdery. I don't like to look too, too matte. I think today I'm gonna use just this small end of the detail brush just so I can show you how small of little areas I powder. So look, this is gonna, these pores, if you have pores right in here, it's really gonna help to blur those out. Mattifying will blur it out. I don't go all the way up to, you know, my lower lid, but if I feel like I need to, I'll just powder that little trough. Is that what it's called? The little indentation, indentation right there. And then anything left, I'll go over right here. But again, I don't want to look powdery. I don't want to look dry. Too powdery and matte will enhance your lines. Too glowy, too glittery will also enhance your lines. I like the glow on my cheeks. Actually, let's add a little glow to the cheeks. I'm going to go. Did you order a cream illuminator? If not, you should think about it. It's beautiful. The cream illuminator is so pretty, even on more mature skin. It's beautiful. So much more natural looking than the powder ones you might see. I'll even swatch this. It's just so subtle. This is called Honey. And it's see once blended out, it's just like a beautiful, just low. I only put it on the tops of my cheeks. Some people put it down their nose, but I'm good with just the tops of my cheeks. I didn't do my lips yet. I about forgot. Let me, hmm, I'm going to go in with my bronzer and just do a very sloppy outline with the detail brush. And then we're going to go in with Madrid. Very pretty color. I'm gonna take our balm. I need to order more balm. Okay, vanilla dust and balm. I need to make a list. This will just add some moisture. Very, very pretty color, that Madrid. I don't wanna lose the vibrancy. Okay, I'm a face toucher. Is anybody else a face toucher? So if you are, I would just lightly powder right here. And powdering this, if you had to cover anything in this area with added coverage, this will help set that. So I'm just gonna do that. And that'll just help touching my face, all that stuff. I can't remember if I set my nose. I definitely gotta set my nose. Did I get sidetracked when I was powdering? 
I don't know. Okay. All right, Saint Makeup for you. Do you own it yet? Are you doing some research trying to figure out if it's something you want to try? I would love to help. I'll have stuff linked in the description, but I hope y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all again soon. Bye y'all.